Hey everybody, welcome to the Streaming CT YouTube channel. Today we're going to do a really quick run through of a brand new portable rack that I just finished building. It's our network rack that we bring to live events. So it provides network connectivity, it also provides the routing we need. I can statically assign IP addresses to each of the pieces of gear that I have in other racks on our tech table. So we're gonna do a quick run through of the rack and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. All right, so first off, this is a 4U rack from Gator. Uh, this is the Gator Pro Series, really well-built case. It has panels on the front and back. Just unscrew them like that, they come off. And we'll start at the front here. So at the bottom, this is a PDU, power distribution unit, made by Triplite. It also has surge suppression in it. When you're looking for a PDU, you wanna get one with surge suppression if you can. So you have ports in the front, and then there's also ports, uh, power plugs in the back, so I can plug in equipment. So next up is from OnStage, and this is actually a 1U drawer. You'll see in this drawer, I have an access point and I have some antennas. This drawer is pretty cool, number one, because it's 1U and it's shallow. That's what I wanted for this particular rack because I just need to throw a few things in it. But it also is lockable, so it comes with a key. So if I didn't want it to move um, for sure in shipping or I'm taking out a plane, whatever it is, I could lock it up. And it does have a snap, so it's not gonna just fall open. I've had other drawers that if you move the rack at all, it'll just open up. So that's nice about this, it doesn't. So we'll take this access point out for a second. I'll leave it there. And this is just an extra network cable. Um, but next in line, we have a brush plate. And then at the top is a rack mounted Mr. Net uh, cellular bonding device. And these are custom made 3D printed rack ears. If you wanna know more about this specifically, leave it in the comments below. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these antennas on the front of the Mr. Net mounting, and we'll be right back. But, all right, so the antennas are on. So this Mr. Net cellular bonding router, there's videos on the channel, so if you're interested in what it does and how it works, you can go and follow those videos. These antennas are regular LTE 4G antennas. There's three cellular modems built in, T-Mobile, Verizon, and AT&T. And on the back, I have the ability to plug in a WAN connection, so a local ISP from a venue or whatever internet I'm getting. And the, these are passed through to the back. So let's turn this around and I'll show you what is on the back of the rack. All right, so the power cord for the PDU, we'll let that fall for now. And this is the back of the rack. The top, we have a 1U Keystone patch panel. We have 10 LAN connections, local area network. And then we have uh, a connection for the access point, which I'll show in a minute, and WAN 1 and WAN 2. WAN 2 is when we want to run through the Mr. Net cellular bonding router. WAN 1 is when we want to bypass that. So if we know we have good internet, we're not going to use the Mr. Net at all. We plug into WAN 1 and we'll just run our connectivity that way. Or if internet is not really that critical, we're not live streaming, we'll use that. The Mr. Net router does cost per gigabyte. Before we get too deep into the back of the rack here, I have a Unify mesh access point, and I have this holder mounted to the side of the rack. So I just pop this in, and it goes like that. And then I plug this cord into the UAP slot, and this actually gets powered with power over ethernet. So it's getting powered from the switch that's right in here. And this will actually give me Wi-Fi at the venue. So I'll have my own Wi-Fi that I can use to connect laptops or whatever other devices that I need. So inside the rack, we have a Netgear 16 port PoE switch. Every single port is PoE. Each port can do up to 30 watts of PoE power. We won't be using nearly that much, but we have a lot of overhead and I have 10 of those ports patched. I could go up to 16, but I know I'm likely not gonna need more than 10, so that's why I only did 10. And I also have a Protectly mini computer. This is a mini PC that is running PFSense. PFSense is a routing software. It's an open source routing software. What that allows me to do is have primary and backup WANs or wide area connections. And that enables me to do what I was talking about before, where if I wanna use the Mr. Net versus I wanna just have straight internet connection, it'll automatically fail to that second WAN. So Mr. Net will be primary and the secondary WAN will be backup. So I can allow the router to do that. And in that PFSense router is where I can assign IP addresses for each of the devices that are on the network, like an A10 Mini Pro, 
or an ATEM 2ME or HyperDeck or whatever devices I have plugged in. So that's a super quick run through of our networking rack. We do bring this on all of our events. We can use it just to get Wi-Fi if we need it. Or if we're live streaming, we need like really solid internet, we can use the Mr. Net device. So it makes it very versatile, separates the network connectivity out from the other racks. That was a big issue we had, was in all of our streaming racks. We just had switches and wires everywhere and routers and um, it's much easier to have it all in its own rack. So that's why we built it this way. I haven't seen a lot of other people doing it like this. So that's why I wanted to do a quick video and share it on the channel. So if you have questions, make sure to leave them in the comments below like the video and subscribe for more live streaming content. We'll see you all soon.